everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video we are going to be opening up a Wizarding World Crate. Now, as I seem to keep saying recently, if you watch the channel regularly you will know all our crates are months and months and months late. They are now all catching up with us, so I'm not sure which one this is. I think this is one from the summer. This is about the July crate, I think, and I'm sure it was called something to do with plants. Herbology or something like that, something plant related. Let's open it up and see exactly what it is and when we should have got it. And just cut the seal off there. Actually, it's got like a little, looks like it's got a little plant sticker on it, so it may very well be something to do with plants. It's quite a small one as well. Quite often, these are twice the size of this one. And the first thing I can see is a t shirt. A grey t-shirt which is saying on it, oh it's a mandrake t-shirt. This looks quite interesting. Oh, that was a t-shirt with a mandrake root on it. That looks quite cool. I quite like that. It's quite nice if you've seen the films you know all about that or I suppose if you've read the books you know all about that. So first up one t-shirt which looks quite cool and next up we've got what is saying it is a Herbology 101 wall tapestry. So I've got the feeling this may be quite big. Let's take it out and have a look. Let's put that to one side. It feels quite soft. And it does look like it's going to be quite big. It looks like it's going to be very big. It's a bit thin and see-through. Oh, goodness. Right, there, well, <laughs> I'm not sure how much of that you can see. It looks quite nice. It's got all kinds of plants on it and loads of little, well, what was I, descriptions or names or both. So that's pretty cool. Um, I could use that as a tablecloth, I suppose. Let's get that down first. There we go. That's going to take up a lot of room. Let's get rid of that. Spread that out. There we go. It's covered everything up. And a t-shirt. Okay. There we go. One Herbology 101 tapestry, apparently. Next up, we have got... It is saying it is a bow truckle handkerchief. The bow truckles are from uh, Fantastic Beasts and this looks quite nice as well. So there we are, it's a nice purple bow truckle handkerchief with little bow truckles on it. I guess it goes that way. That's quite nice as well. It's quite silky it feels. Not sure what it's made of. So we've got one handkerchief there in its little box and we've got a pin of course which is obviously going to be something I'm saying obviously is probably going to be something plant related because that would make sense wouldn't it <clears throat> and of course it's not well kind of it's a kelpie Again from Fantastic Beasts, and this is the Scottish sea horse, not a sea horse, but you know, if you've seen the film, you know what it is. It's a thing that looks half horse and half seaweed. So we've got a Kelpie pin, so I'm not sure if that counts as being a plant or being an animal, not being a Kelpie expert. And then we have got is this one more item, possibly? which is Harry Potter 
dirigible plum magnets, apparently. And on this side it says, keep off the dirigible plums. Um, well, there we go. So I'm guessing these are it's like little fridge magnets that you push off of the backing card. And yeah, that's what they look. They look like fridge magnets. Um, and oh, there's one. One's popped out. So you push them all out like that, and you magnetize them to your fridge door. I think there's five of them. It looks like one, two, three, four, five. And and you can also push out the little sign at the bottom, just to make people make people make sure <laughs> make sure people keep off your dirigible plums. Dirigible plums. Anyway, so that's the next item. That's the last item. A dirigible plums magnet. <clears throat> dirigible plums magnets, I should say. Here's our little spoiler letter, which says, ah, oh, apparently this is called Magical Plants. Doesn't say what month it is. I'm sure this was July. Uh, da 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 da, Magical Plants. This creates magical loot. We have one, our bow truckle handkerchief. Which is very colourful, very nice. We have our Herbology Tapestry, which is this enormous great thing we had. Oh dear, there goes the crate. Um, then we had our Mandrake t-shirt, which looks pretty cool. I like that. We have got our Dirigible Plum Magnet Set, which apparently is something to do with Luna Lovegood. I don't remember those. But there we go, dirigible plum magnet set, and we have our Kel our Kelpie enamel pin, which is the next pin in our magical creatures series, which is a shape shifting water demon which often appears as a horse with bulrushes for a mane. So not actually a plant, that is a creature, although part of it is bulrushes. So. Part plant, I guess. So there we go. That is the contents of our magical plants crate, which I'm sure we should have got sometime in the summer. I'm saying July. So some nice designed items there in our magical plants crate. We got our huge herbology tapestry. If you've got room to hang that up at home, congratulations. I'm fairly sure I haven't. We got our colourful handkerchief, we got our mandrake root t-shirt, I am really liking the look of, and of course we got our magnet sheet if you want everyone to check out your plums. The Wizarding World crate comes out once every two months and costs £39 per crate to get shipped over here to Britain. If you're in the States that should be cheaper because obviously you're not getting it shipped to another country. If you want to go and check the crates out for yourself, I will put a link in the description. In the meantime, remember, hit the thumbs up below. You can follow me on Instagram for photo updates. And if you don't want to miss out on whatever I get up to next, then hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one.